Okay, this uh, video is for Granddad, really, and all the other pop pop boat uh, makers. Granddad went off in a single tube pop pop motor that was silent using a uh, gas canister, and I couldn't find a gas canister. I didn't want to wait for one, so I found one of these vape tubes that was disposed of, took it apart, and there was stainless steel liner in it that I made into one of these um, pop pop motors. And it, it was a little hard to do, but I got it done. Let me take it out of its little berth. You can see the, the waves. The light makes a real good display. The water is actually coming up and down in here. Let me take it out of its berth. I'll show you how it moves. You need to do this in a bathtub, really. It's a really interesting um, steam engine. That's what I decided this is. This isn't uh, just a heat engine, it's a steam engine. And the boiler does boil the water up here. And then it comes down here. It comes down in a pulse, uh, pushes the water out. The water tries to get back in. It's harder for the water to get back in, so you end up with a force vector going like this. And the um, water comes back up into the boiler and gets turned into steam and then the whole cycle repeats itself and this one is silent and that was one thing I liked about what granddad was showing was you can make these things that don't make any noise and uh, that can be a good thing or bad thing but there are no moving parts it's just a, a pulse wave that gets set up in here with the steam going back into water and then being um, heated up and boiled into steam expanding and going down that tube but yeah this was a uh, really interesting i'm going to stop it here and pull it out of the water and show you what's going on here and keep from getting burned you have to be really careful okay what i've got is a uh, little alcohol burner that i'm using um, 91% isopropyl alcohol, a little piece of paper towel for the wick, a little aluminum canister, and this is the tube, it's stainless steel, and it's out of a vape, and it's these disposable vapes that I finally found my first one the other day and got it to get the battery out of it, and then the thing had leaked and it smelled so bad I threw the whole thing away, except for the stainless steel tube that I turned into this uh, pop pop boat engine. Um, the little container is just a frozen food uh, container. Um, you poke a hole in the back here. Uh, the exhaust pipe is a little piece of aluminum like that that a straw fits over. Um, the vape pipe thing has one end of it that you can drill out and then epoxy into this tube. And then the tube here, I fold it over using a vise and vise grips and then um, couldn't get it to seal so I finally had to get some of this high temperature epoxy and I highly recommend this stuff right here um, it goes up to 500 degrees you can also use JB high temperature epoxy the low temperature epoxies do not work with this it's way too uh, hot it just melts them and makes a big stink so um, if you're gonna do kind of this thing get yourself some high temperature epoxy now this started to leak right here so I took a piece of this aluminum tape and just wrapped it around it and squeezed it enough so that it sealed up against en enough to make this video but I'm gonna probably have to re uh, epoxy this end of it there are other better ways to do this you can solder it you can silver solder it there's lots of different ways but this is the kitchen countertop kind of thing um, the other thing was um, Granddad showed a way of putting the water in it using a little uh, tube made out of the insulation on a wire. I found that if you just use a, a wire up and down with this underwater, it acts like a pump and pumps the water into this. Now you can't fill it up all the way, at least mine doesn't work all the way. You've got to fill it up part way with the water, otherwise it won't boil. If you run it too dry, you burn this up and you burn that up and the whole thing's ruined so getting the water level in here uh, like I say you, you use it pumping it underwater and then when you're all done 
you shake it to hear how much water is in there and you can tell how much water is in it just by shaking it but anyway that's my um, latest little project I'm not here in the garage again because of the smell and um, this wash tub actually worked out like a pretty good uh, um, test bed and especially because the light shows the wave pattern on the on the pulse that's the latest with my little uh, putt putt boat pop pop boat projects this is a single pipe silent pop pop boat engine thanks for watching